What's up, everybody? It's Josh. We need to talk about these new ridiculous rumors about Avengers Kang Dynasty and a sequel to Shang-Chi and how those two movies might tie together. This is really crazy. It's a report that's kind of flying under the radar, and yet it might change everything we think we know about Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars and how the next two Avengers movies will fit together. So there are a couple of different reports that we need to talk about. First, let's focus in on a new rumor that started after Disney shifted some release dates around in the next couple of years. This is coming from Charles Murphy, and he is suggesting that Shang-Chi 2 will come out in very early 2025, and that Destin Daniel Crichton will direct that film. And this is obviously pretty ridiculous, because that would make it so that Destin Daniel Crichton was directing a movie that would be coming out in probably February. February of 2025. And then just three months later, he would be directing the next Avengers movie, Avengers Kang Dynasty. This would be a hell of an undertaking that would make it so that this dude was essentially directing and helming two incredibly important Marvel Cinematic Universe movies at the same time. And it kind of implies to me that Shang-Chi 2 and Kang's Dynasty might have a lot more connective tissue and might be very close closely tied together as opposed to Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars being tied together. But this is why we got to talk about the other report. Now, this report is coming from the Illuminati and man, I'm just telling you right now, the Illuminati has incredible sources. They have very good information over there. And there's a new article up on the Illuminati that says Marvel Cinematic Universe's cosmic weapons are primed to connect the multiverse saga. This is an exclusive from them. Now, I'm going to cut right to the juicy part on this article, but you can go check out the whole thing on on their website. It says here, according to our sources, the Ten Rings and Kamala's bangle are actually connected, having been left on Earth by the same aliens long ago. It seems these weapons fulfill a similar role to the Infinity Stones in the Infinity Saga, revealing pieces of a larger mystery and granting powers to the individuals who use them. Now, we don't have details on which aliens left these weapons on Earth. It could be the Kree, the MacLoans, who were the aliens that created the Ten Rings in the comics, or perhaps something even bigger like the Celestials. And they point out in their article that in the Miss Marvel show, the tomb where the bangles, which are the the bracelets that Ms. Marvel uses, when they were first discovered, that tomb has the ten ring symbols on the floor. We also know from the post credit scene of Shang-Chi that the ten rings are much older than a thousand years and they are sending out some kind of a signal or beacon. And I also want to point out that the banner image that is used for this Illuminati article also has Dane Whitman's ebony blade from the post credit scene of the Eternals movie. And they say in the article, it is also intriguing to think about whether other weapons could be tied to this mystery. Perhaps the ebony blade will have a different origin than in the comics and will connect to a cosmic mystery. And it is worth noting the Jin spoke of two bangles and only one has been shown in Miss Marvel. But okay, let's stop for a second and kind of take this information in. So Destin Daniel Crichton is directing a sequel to Shang-Chi that will come out just a couple of months before Kang Dynasty comes out. Obviously, the next Avengers movie in Kang Dynasty is a huge big deal, and it does in some ways, probably in many ways, set up Avengers Secret Wars, which is also coming out later that year. And now we have this report from a very reliable site talking about how the bangles in Miss Marvel and the Ten Rings from Shang-Chi are actually the new MacGuffins, the new Infinity Stones that are going to tie together for the multiversal saga, and they are ancient weapons that were left on Earth by some aliens. Now, I'm going to do a full video speculating on what these weapons could actually be, who could have actually left them, but I'll TLDR my thoughts as saying that I believe they will be relics from past multiversal wars. These are going to be weapons that are not just ancient, but perhaps even older than this universe, than the sacred timeline itself, and will not only tie into what's going on in Avengers Kang Dynasty, Secret Wars, and 
perhaps other Avengers movies, but may set up a real new understanding of the entire Marvel multiverse moving forward. But the main thing to take away as an MCU fan is that it appears that the sequel to Shang-Chi will directly tie into Avengers Kang Dynasty, and this weapon thing might well be explained then and there. It is also worth noting that in Quantumania, Kang in that film says that something was stolen from him and the only person that can get it back would be Scott Lang. And it's possible that another one of these ancient weapons or relics is what Kang is talking about. And this also lends itself to my personal theory that Secret Wars is going to be a completely and entirely different film than what you get in Avengers Kang Dynasty. Kang Dynasty is likely gonna take place in the 616 or at least mostly in the 616 with our universe fighting against Kang and possibly other versions of Kang in the lead up to the multiversal war. But I believe that Secret Wars will primarily take place on battle world and therefore likely be completely disconnected to different characters locations and events that happen before that film and this is all really cool but it also gives me a lot of hope for what marvel is cooking up behind the scenes a lot of people are just saying that this seems really crazy it seems like they're doing so much so quickly here but now it's becoming more obvious as to why destin daniel Crichton was picked for avengers Kang dynasty and i believe because he's just going to be totally immersed in mcu content doing this perhaps even working on wonder man a series for disney plus and setting up all this stuff he's just going to be living and breathing mcu in a similar way that the russo brothers did before where they were just doing so many movies and kind of in on the big macro story there and i think they're going to be developing this really cool roadmap that's going to really pay off from shang chi 2 in to avengers kang dynasty and my other speculation here is because if you think about the fact that Destin Daniel Crichton signs this big deal with Disney and now he's helming all these projects that are going to directly tie into Kang Dynasty, then I really do believe the rumors that Ryan Coogler will direct Avengers Secret Wars because Coogler also signed a huge development deal with Disney. And I just see this pattern here where they want to take team players that work well within the system and give them huge contracts and just have them continuously working on this MCU roadmap and then the content that is going to lead into the next two Avengers movies. So this is all pretty freaking wild. If you found yourself enjoying this video or you were informed, smash a like on it and make sure you go check out the live streaming channel where I'm sure we're going to be talking about this as more information comes out and just more speculation is there to be had and if you want to watch more why not check out this video which is the part one in my road to the mcu secret wars series that i am working on and i actually released this video before secret wars was officially announced after i saw multiverse of madness it's right there on the screen why don't you just give it a click